guys, welcome back. So I'm starting out with my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade as per usual. And then for foundation, I'm mixing some Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation with some Astralis Strobing Liquid in Gold. And I'm going to use my F83, I think it's called a Curved Kabuki. I actually really love it. It's a new brush from Sigma. Then for brows, I'm going in with my Benefit Cabrow in the shade 2. And I absolutely love this stuff. They recently just sent me a new one in the shade 2 and it's amazing. So I'm just basically shaping my entire eyebrows because you guys know I have very, very fair, sparse brows. So pretty much got to work from scratch. Then I'm using their new foolproof brow powder in the shade 1 as well. I actually love this. You use the lighter colour through the front of the brow and then the darker colour through the tail and it just helps define them really nicely. And then taking my Tarte Shape Tape in light sand, I'm just using a F F70, oh my gosh I can't speak, concealer brush just to carve out my eyebrows and make them look super neat. And then I'm just using some more of the shape tape on my actual eyelids just to prime for my eyeshadows. So the first shade I'm going in with is Makeup Geek Mirage and I'm just using an F64 uh, brush just to set my entire eyelids. Then I applied some tape on the outer corners and then I'm going in with Creme Brulee which is a very well loved shade obviously you could see I have majorly hit pan and I'm just buffing this through the crease as my transition shade then taking Coco Bear which is more of a deep sable brown I am using the same E40 brush and I'm just blending into the crease just starting to go a bit lower and keeping it a little bit more precise then I'm taking the shade Chickadee which is gorgeous it is like this beautiful yellowy poo color but it looks amazing on the eyes it just adds the nicest pop of yellow and then back in with Coco Bear I'm using an E25 brush now that is much more precise than the E40 and I am just really defining that crease and sort of bringing it up a little bit in a wing at the outer corner you can see what I mean I think and then taking a clean E35 brush I'm just blending all of those edges out then going in with Corrupt, which is a matte black, I'm using a tiny little blender brush, which is an E36. As you can see, it's like the perfect shape to get right in that crease. And then I'm going in with the E35 once I've applied my black, just to make sure that everything was super blended and seamless. Then picking up my shape tape once again, because you can use it for everything. I am using that to carve out my lid on my eyes. So basically we're doing a cut crease. Um, and yeah, just using this little F70 brush just to carve it all out. And then I'm going back in with the E35 once again and just making sure those edges are so super blended. Then I'm just going back in with that E36 brush with no additional product and just adding a little bit more of that depth back that we blended away. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay After Dark palette, which that was totally not even in focus, so I'm sorry. But I'm taking the shade Lounge, which is the most unique color ever. It's like a brown, but it's green. It has the most beautiful green reflex. It's just amazing. I don't have any other colors like it. Then I just took my finger and applied some more product just to make sure that like, it really was packed on there. And then just went back in with the E25 to blend everything. Then I tried to go in with this brown eyeliner, which is one of my favorite formulas. Like I love the black version, which is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner. Um, but the brown just did not look good. It wasn't like deep enough, so I went over with the black. Then I just took my Rimmel Scandalized Coal in black and tight lined my eyes before giving them a curl and applying some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And then the eye lashes that I used are the Klepke Lashes in Mykonos. Then moving back onto the face, I'm going in with Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick, which is one of my favorites, and I'm just applying that to all of the areas where I normally contour, so under my chin, under my bottom lip, my cheekbones, around my temples, and my hairline, and I'm blending all of it out using the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki. It's like a really good shape for cream contour blending. 
so you guys already know what concealer we're using. It is Tarte Shape Tape. I am just obsessed with this. It's literally the best. Everyone says it and it's actually true. So I'm using the shade Light Sand and then I'm going in with the F87 Edge Kabuki which is my new favourite concealer blending brush because it gets right up under those eyes in the inner corners and it's the perfect shape just to blend everything out so I really love this. Then I just went back in with my foundation brush as well just to make sure all of the edges were super blended and there was no stark lines. And then for setting my highlight, I am going with the Garbo and Kelly Highlight and Contour Kit and I'm taking the light banana shade and I'm just using the F64 brush from Sigma to set all of that down. And then I just swapped to an F25 just because it's bigger and took up less time. <laughs> Then going back into the palette, I'm taking the contour, the powder contour, and I'm using my F05 brush just to carve out all of my face. So just applying this sort of as a bronzer and a contour, basically. I actually love this contour palette. I did a first impressions kind of review video on a heap of products, and I was immediately impressed by this. Then just taking an F50 brush from Sigma just to make sure everything was blended and then I applied a little bit more banana powder under my contour and on my nose. And then for blush I used MAC Melba and just applied that to the apples of my cheeks and blended it up. Then for highlight I started out with the shade Tourmaline, I think that's how you pronounce it, from the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit which I actually like this shade as much as I thought I wouldn't. And then I just went over with a little bit of the yellowy shade, I'm sorry I forget what it's called, but this just brightened everything up a little bit and yeah, made it more highlighty. And then I set to my face using the Algenis Splash Setting Spray. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm going in with Coco Bear on an E25 and I'm just blending this all the way under the lower lash line. And then I just took a little bit more of that shade just to warm up the crease a tiny little bit more. And then going in with Corrupt on an E45 tapered small blending brush. I'm just applying this under the lower lash line again, just sort of building up the intensity. And then just going back in with the E25 to make sure everything was very well blended. And then I took some more of that greeny brown shade on an E30 and just smudged that in the inner portion of the lower lash line. Then going in with this MAC Cold Pencil in the shade Undercurrent, it's like a beautiful emerald green. I just used that in my waterline and then applied some lower lash mascara and used that highlight shade from the palette again to highlight my inner corners. Then I took some Craft Glitters which are super chunky and some glitter glue and I just applied the glitter glue and the glitters using a little q-tip so it saved me dirtying a brush just be careful when you use craft glitters around your eyes you don't want to get any in your eyeballs and then I just finished off my brows using some gimme brow in the shade number one and then to finish off the entire look I took this Klepke Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Bougie which oh my goodness this formula is incredible the girl who owns the company is actually like a small town girl in the city that I live in and I would highly recommend her liquid lipsticks and her lashes guys I think they're amazing and anyway that completes my entire look I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you very very soon bye